I am Sari Lavender and I hope you are having a lovely day. So, welcome to the May vlog, which isn't quite May because it is the 24th of April. Um, it is 5.22 and I'm exhausted. <laughs> Saturdays are really intense for me. I have a, a lot of physical activity on, which is quite draining. But, just to start the vlog, um, I am currently reading War Storm. I'm still 44 pages, oh that's a lie, I'm 48 pages in. Apparently I started reading and then just forgot that I was reading. Um, so I'm 48 pages in, which isn't a chapter. It's like the middle of a chapter. So I'm going to fix that and get to the next chapter. Uh, it's about 20 pages, 22 pages away, but that, that's fine. That would be long. But yes, I want to get to that just because I, I don't like not being on a chapter when I'm reading. If that makes sense. Um, I am just also considering, just for a general update, moving my bookshelves around. Again, it's like one of my favourite things to do apparently. Um, but just so I can record sitting down. Uh, but yeah, so I will do that sometime in this vlog actually. Um, this will be a four week vlog. I said the April one went up yesterday. Uh, that was only three weeks and then obviously this isn't the full May vlog, it's a week of April and then three weeks of May. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you are feeling okay and I will see you in the next clip. One look, the heat is rising And I've been cold for so long One touch and we're igniting Setting fire to it all It's Wednesday and it's quarter to two. Um, I've just been sitting here watching YouTube actually. Um, whilst I had lunch, I had an on campus class this morning, so I really feel like I'm going all the way down the bottom. There we go. <laughs> I had an on campus class this morning. Actually, I had two, but I was on campus. That's the gist of this. <laughs> Um, and then I've come home, had lunch, I am going to do the dishes, um, last night I was going to do the dishes, I'm going to finish the YouTube video, and then I'm like, I'm going to record for a little bit. I have decided that there's no way I'm finishing my April TBR, since there's two days left. Um, but War Storm, I'm 160 pages, wow. 160 pages. I wonder what percent that is. I've not put it into Goodreads yet at all. So we'll do that now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this YouTube video that I'm watching um, and then do the dishes and then I'm going to actually record my video for this week, which will be my bookshelf reorganization. Um, there you go, I'm 24% of the way through. Um, do I have City of Bones sitting here? Oh, I do. Just like, because that, I haven't updated on Goodreads for that either. And there's two. Both of them I'm halfway through a chapter. 59%, okay. So 24%, 59%. This one, yeah, it is taking me a while, particularly because I'm just sitting down to do the annotating. Um, that's like a lot of work, particularly when I have things for uni that I have to be doing. I have an assignment to start next week. Um, but hey, that's... I'm getting distracted. That's life, I guess. I think I'm going to be moving to doing weekly vlogs after 
this one comes out. So this will come out the third week of May, whatever the date for that is. Um, calendar. The 21st. And then from then on, I think, because that will be my, what, seventh video? I think from then on, I'll be able to do uh, two videos a week um, and it'll give me more like to do. So one of them will be a weekly reading vlog, which will be more of the booky stuff. Um, and then I can get into like maybe more gaming or other things that I want to do that I just haven't felt like I felt like I can't yet because I'm also doing the vlog. Um, yeah, oh wow, that's crazy to think this can't, I'm recording and it's coming out so far in advance. Wow. But yeah. Um, and that means I can potentially record more. Like at the moment, I feel like I am limiting myself with how much I am recording and I sit there and go, oh, I really feel like recording something right now, but I won't because I don't want to make the video really long. In saying that, I think the vlogs will definitely be longer um, because I do really like watching long vlogs. And if I like it, surely other people like it too. So whilst yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So the vlogs will be longer. This one particularly is probably quite long because I think it's what... It's not even been a week. I think I've done four or five clips already. So, hello. Hi. It is Monday. It is... What's the time? 20 to 10 on Monday. Um, just giving you a little update in Warstorm and where my thoughts are at the moment. I am on page 510 of 650 or something like that. Um, I read 270 pages last night um, through a mix of doing some sprints. I didn't do them, uh, but I was participating in some sprints online uh, as well as just continuing on myself. I was maybe reading for three hours, maybe a little bit more. And yeah, I got through 270 pages. So much happened in those 270 pages. It's insane. Um, but there is also only 150 pages of the series left. And I'm sitting here going, there are so many loose threads. How is Victoria Aveyard going to tie these up? I really want to know. I was like, I just want to read. I really want to read. Um, but unfortunately, I do have quite a bit on during the actual day today. I said I have an appointment in 20 minutes that I have to get ready and leave for. I'm going out for lunch and to study uh, for some uni stuff. And then, yeah, so hopefully I will finish this today. As I said, I've only 150 pages, so it's not that much. I can definitely get through it tonight. Uh, I am watching TV with my mum tonight though. Uh, we are watching Dancing with the Stars, which has been a favourite show of mine since I was a child. When I was young, I was like, I'm going to be a famous pop star so I can be on Dancing with the Stars. Um, for any pe people who live in Britain, this is the equivalent of Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly Ballroom. Strictly Ballroom? Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly. I don't know what comes after Strictly, but the one where the famous people go and dance. <laughs> Ballroom dancing. Um, yeah, I've always loved it. It's a little, well, the series have already finished in Australia. It was this really quick two week long series that we, oops, we are behind on, but that's okay because mum and I love watching it. So we will be doing that tonight and yeah, hopefully I can finish this tonight and get onto all the other books that I want to read. Because as I said in the video that came out on Tuesday, which was my April wrap up and just a brief overview of my May TBR. I'm not doing a structured TBR this month, uh, unlike everything else for this year so far. It has been structured. I just want to catch up on reading. Um, I have was Tom was on my March TBR and I just didn't get to it. Uh, there's three books on my April TBR that I just haven't gotten to, so I'm just going to try and catch up, reset, update some reading on some of the series that I've been reading through my TBR uh, method. If anyone's wondering how I do that, I can outline it in a video. Um, it is not my original idea, that's one of the reasons I haven't been mentioning it, but I am okay with doing a video as long as I let you know it's not my idea. But let me know in the comments if that's something you are interested in, please, because I'd love to do it. 
or have more of an explanation as to where my TBR comes from at least. But yeah, that is it. I am rushing. I have 15 minutes now. So <laughs> I might catch you tomorrow. I might catch you Wednesday. I don't know. Whenever I next tap in, I'll see you then. <laughs>book it is all ready for me to read nice and floppy so I can open it um, I'm going to be reading or starting this whilst I'm out getting my hair done um, I'm not sure how far I could honestly get the whole way through whilst I'm out but we will see what happens that is a little bit optimistic it's 230 pages oh is that yeah that's I lied it's 257 pages <laughs> But I could probably do it um, if I'm actively reading rather than like talking to the hairdresser. The last book that I want to talk about is The Nightwalkers Family by C.R. Choplick and R.J. Callahan. Uh, one of the authors I am actually friends with, so that's why I'm just mentioning it here. I really would recommend reading it. It's really short. It's 118, 18, 115 pages that you will fly through. There are multiple perspectives. I think there's four perspectives. 
Yes. <laughs> I've just seen three. I'm trying to find the fourth one. Nope. Um, this is like around the middle of the ground. Middle grade? Eight. Maybe five perspectives. Yeah. It is uh, self-published, so just keep that in mind if you are interested. I will link everything in the description below. There we go. Yeah, there's five perspectives. It's a lot of perspectives for something that is so short. Um, but it is meant to be part of a series, so hopefully in the future this can grow into being a full, more novel-sized, just to pick up candle press because it's next to me. Because yes, it is quite short. Um, I really enjoyed it, I think. I don't know how many stars. I, it says three. So I gave it three stars. I wrote it in two days in January this year. And it follows main characters Eliza and Kaylee, who are sisters in some form of the word, <laughs> um, as they're at Thorn Academy, which is um, reading off the back. Thorn Academy was where everything began and ended. It was a school, a home, a secret society, and a place filled with dangerous secrets. So part of Thorn Academy is that there are multiple students uh, in different sectors. So Eliza is part of the night class and Kaylee is part of the day class. And the two different classes learn different things. Um, I think it's sort of like a bit spy -y. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I put it under in my spreadsheet. But yes, if you are interested in this, more information will be in my description box. So please go and have a look. They are doing a deal at the moment where you can get signed books. Because I said, it's self-published, so most of it comes from the two of them. But yeah, that's The Nightwalkers Family. There is another book that is anticipated at the end of this year or next year called The Daywalker's Nightmare that you get a little preview for. And oh my gosh, I read that and went, I need this book now. Um, do I have it yet? No. So, <laughs> a little, little, I'm a little bit impatient. I'm, I've managed. I've read like 25 books since I picked up Nightwalker's Family. Um, but that's about it. So yeah, I have my hair appointment in... Ooh, hello, text message. Soon. Um, that I will be going to and I will I will come back and sorry I just saw something that went oh my gosh I will come back and let you know how that goes and how I look <laughs> afterwards um, I think in between now and leaving I'm probably going to do some uni work because that basically oh I take that back I do need to edit a video this is my April wrap up that I said was going to come out on the 1st of May. I think I've already talked about it in this vlog. I said it was going to come out on the 1st of May. It didn't. And then said, oh, it'll be the 4th of May. It's not. It is now the 6th of May and I still haven't edited it and got it up. Got it up. Got it. Got it. Gotten? Gotten it up. One of those. <laughs> so yeah, we might do that. So I will catch you all soon. Okay, we're back. It is a, quite a few hours later. It is now 9.15, but hey, that's life, isn't it? We have dyed my uh, ends of my hair purple now, um, gotten it cut a little bit, um, and straightened, but yeah, so that's what happened. But reading update, just as I thought, I took Chasing Blue, the second book in the Canterwood Crest series, to read whilst I was there. And I started and finished it. Um, so I gave this one four stars. Yeah, read it in one sitting, which I knew it was going to happen. Um, I was there for a while. I'm not sure how long I was actually at the salon, but it was a while. So yeah, a lot of it I remember what happens because like, I have read the entire series before, except for like one of the special editions, I think. Um, so yeah, I remembered what was happening to an extent, but other things I'm like, oh, so that's how that, okay, yeah, pieces have connected together again. But yeah, having fun with that, go four stars. <laughs> We're gonna be putting, picking up A Court of Mist and Fury. I don't actually know what happens in this, I will admit, all I know is about the love interest. So, oh my gosh, my phone just started buzzing because 
apparently Discord thinks I'm not active, even though I am. Like, I am very active on Discord. It's on this screen. But I'm sending messages to my phone now. Anyway, I caught up Mist and Fury. That's where we're at. Um, I did end up, oh, did I mention that? I ended up editing my April wrap up and I've decided to just, just, it's just going to go out on Friday. I didn't know what to do for next week's video for Friday, so what are we going to do this week's video next week? Um, that will, oh, you potentially will have already seen it, but that will be me starting a Minecraft Let's Play series sort of thing and try not to scream too much because I'm really bad at fighting mobs. But that's all. It is 5.25 um, right now. I'm just popping in to get a little reading and a life update. I don't know. Uh, one day, maybe, eventually, we'll take the camera outside my house. <laughs> but that's not happening yet. Um, I was at work today. Work was quite busy, which was fun to an extent. I nearly died. Well, I didn't nearly die. I got, I'm quite fatigued. But little reading update with A Court of Mist and Fury. I am 120. 116 pages into a six it's 622 pages or up so that's about there if you're particularly visual um yeah it's chapter 12 there we go I knew 12 came into it somewhere um it's quite interesting so far I was out reading outside just in a more public area there weren't very many people around and there were sometimes I'm like oh and f physically saying things Instead of mentally, yeah, I guess that works. I don't even remember what I was going to be intentionally saying before I went on like the 18,000 different tangents I went on. I do over exaggerate, I'll just, just a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and do some uni work. We're gonna light a candle. Um, you guys can come along too, which means I will be having to find some more music to put over my time lapses. So that is fun. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I think there was something else I wanted to say and I just can't remember for the life of me. I think that's all. I think we can go and do uni work. I think I might also just be procrastinating going and doing my uni work because it's been 10 minutes since I sat down to film this clip and it really didn't need to be this long, but I've made it this long. So hey, that's where we're at. <laughs> Let's go work. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking of doing some reading I'm not sure um, I'm halfway through chapter 13 of A Court of Mist and Fury um, it's really interesting how quickly my opinion I'm not sure if my opinion on characters has changed because of the actual book and the writing or if it's because of what I know like spoilers and what I've seen online about characters that oh I need to do that um yeah my opinion on characters has really drastically changed um so it might be a mix of both I do have a candle going on my monitor stand at the moment 
going to tidy my desk up a little bit and get a cup of tea and then either I'll do some more reading either Akamath or City of Bones I was reading City of Bones yesterday or the day before I think it was the day before yes it was on Sunday um, and I got through another chapter so we are now up to chapter 16 and page 313 so that's going well and I'm sort of into it but I'm also sort of not and I'm not sure if that's because I'm annotating it or just because I'm not reading it in big bunches cool joy great anyway as I was saying it is 345 346 whatever um I finished the work for that subject I am now going to be moving on to this one I just showed you um do that work which I've already done some of haven't I I have class for that this morning didn't I did I I don't I clearly don't remember how do you not remember what your class oh my book is quite close to my phone I did there we go okay so I'm going to finish the work I need to do for this subject before tomorrow and then move on to my last subject's work uh, but yeah I will probably do some reading in between that time yeah so plan of attack first thing first clean my desk second thing is uni work and then I'll do some reading and I'll do some more uni work the book somewhere here it is more uni work and then I'll probably have dinner and go because I have a commitment on tonight so that is the plan of attack so yeah I might leave the camera running I know I've done a lot of time lapses already and I already I already I have another like week and a half left until this comes out so I probably won't but that's what we're doing and I will update you all later. So, hello. It is 12.40 on Tuesday. I don't remember the last time I updated. I got a little bit under the weather. Um, but I now have piles of piles of books next to me. So going to give a little update on basically what I've been doing so I'm just the mess that is my my desk at the moment so on this side we have three random books <laughs> that don't have much correlation together I think War Storm which I finished recently ish I believe I think I've already talked and spoken even about that uh, the Nightwalkers family I think I spoke about that earlier and then uh, Chasing Blue, Canterwood Crest. So then the second pile includes my two reading journals and just a bunch of books um, that my sister or I are unhauling. Um, so there's that pile. And then I have this other pile, which is just the weird collection of things. So we have Stain by A.G. Howard. A.G.? Yep, A.G. Howard. Um, that's there because I read it last year and I annotated it, but now I am starting to tab things that I annotate. As you can see, I annotate a lot. There's a lot of tabs there. Um, and then I have A Court of Mist and Fury, which is what I'm currently reading, and I need to get back to reading. And then Brain Fade. <laughs> City of Bones, which I also need to go through and tab the annotations I have so far, like um, Stain. Um, I will talk about that maybe later, I don't know. But then I also have the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones, because I was looking at the character art that's at the front. Um, I'm trying to find a nice page. We'll use that one. There you go. Which is really pretty, and I was just, I was just comparing it that 
character art is quite similar to the way I actually picture the characters and I was comparing that to the actors of the movie and TV show. But something that I wanted to do today, which bounced off a comment that was left on one of my previous videos, thank you so much to that person, uh, is explaining how I prepare my books before I read them. Uh, I re originally saw this process on TikTok. Um, I don't remember exactly who the creator was because it was a while ago, but I'm going to show you with a book. I don't currently have one here, so I will, oh, I can just use this one. I'll use long distance playlist. Um, so they're paperback books. This doesn't work for hard covers and I'll explain why, but I will clear my desk off a little bit and put the camera down so you can see what I am doing and explain how I prepare my books so that the spine just doesn't crack. Um, it's pretty easy. It's a little bit time consuming and a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it in my opinion. So yeah, I will <laughs> clear the mess of my desk. It gets a bit chaotic very quickly. And then show you that. <laughs> okay, so this bit of my desk is a little bit grotty, but that's okay. Um, so, with a book, I start with it face up on the spine. So all the book pages are facing up. And then you very carefully get the first the cover page and bend it down and make a crease all while making sure the spine is really flat against the I'll turn it this way there we go and then the other way Whoop. so yeah you really want to make sure that the spine is flat against the surface so you do need to work on a flat surface I'll just turn it off then. And then just one by one, you push each page down, one from the front, one from the back. One of the things you have to be careful about is not reading whilst you do this. So I'm going right down into the spine. So I just finished the middle, it didn't take me too long, but you can sort of see, can you, the colouring, not really, but it sits pretty flat, only opens a little bit when you put it down, I'll flip. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you would like to see more of my content. In my description box, you will find a link to my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and Goodreads, although I am still working on pub posting more on there. Uh, I will also be linking information about the Nightwalkers family and all the books that I mentioned, there we go, there was something else, I knew there was something else. All the books that I mentioned, the Goodreads link will also be in the description box. But yes, I hope you are having a lovely day, or if not, that your day is somewhat decent or improves, and I will see you in my next one.
Bye.